Hello, gentlemen, welcome to our chapter 16 supplemental video. We'll start off with a little problem set. So number 91 says, based on their compositions and structures and on conjugate acid-base relationships, select the stronger base in each of the following pairs. So for A here, we have BrO1- minus and or ClO1-. minus. So looking at those two, what we must look at, well, there's a couple ways we can look at it, really. One way to look at it is based on what they are usually as acids. So let's take that approach first, because that's going to be the one that's most in line with your video lectures. So we have BRO1- minus and ClO1- minus. As acids, this would be HBRO, HClO. So we look at which one's a stronger acid. So from your 16.10 video lecture, looking at um, acid strengths, we would look at, in this case, the central atom. This one is more electronegative. Thus, it's a stronger acid. Now, stronger acids have weaker conjugate bases. This is the weaker acid. Now, just for terminology's sake, they're both weak acids, but this one is the stronger of the weak acids, these two. So weaker acids has a stronger conjugate base. So to answer the question here, which has a stronger base, BrO1 minus the ClO1 minus, it's going to be the BrO1 minus because it comes from the weaker acid. You can use your chart if you had that handy, um, but we're going to have a closed note exam, so you might want to know these concepts here. B. We have BrO1 minus. versus BrO2, one minus. Same approach, look at the acids. So this comes from HBrO, this comes from HBrO2. Now this is a different concept from the same video lecture, 16.10. Looking at the number of oxygens, here we have two oxygens versus one oxygen. As you add more oxygens, we get the stronger acid. So this must be the weaker acid that says weaker in some way. So the weaker acid, and as we know, weaker acid has a stronger conjugate base. So that would be the stronger base. Letter C. We have HPO4, 2 minus versus H2PO4. Now, which of these is the stronger base, we're thinking. Um, so, oh, this is one minus, sorry. This one as an acid, if we were gonna draw it as an acid, we add an H to it, so it would be H2PO4, one minus. When you add an H plus, the charge increases by one. So this one, H3PO4. Now it's zero because we increased by one. So this one is going to be the stronger acid. One, it's on our strong acid chart list. The seven, it's there. Two, um, if I have a negative charge, negative charges here will be more attracted to those H pluses, not letting them go. If you don't let the H plus go, then you don't dissociate very well. If you don't dissociate very well, you're a weaker acid. As we know, weaker acid has a stronger conjugate base. Stronger acid has a even weaker conjugate base. So strong acid, this will be negligible. This one would just be 
week. Okay, so this one, stronger base. Okay, move on. Kind of looking at the same concept here, using the following Ka values indicate the correct order of conjugate base strength. Okay, so these are Ka values, meaning they're associated with acids, but we're looking at the conjugate basis. So same concept, stronger the acid, the weaker the conjugate base. Well, we can tell acid strength here by looking at the Ka values. Since my Ka's um, here, we can look at which one's larger. Well, HNO2 is 4.0 times 10 to the negative fourth. HF, 7.2 times 10 to the negative fourth. And HCN, 6.2 times 10 to the negative tenth. So the lowest one is going to be this of the magnitude of 10 to the negative 10th. That's the smallest one. So that means it dissociates the least amount. If it dissociates the least amount, then it is the weakest acid. Now these two, they have the same magnitude so we look at first number. So this is the weakest. And of these two, this one is weaker. This one, we just say it's weak because none of them are strong acids. So as we know, the weaker the acid, the stronger the conjugate base. So let's look at the conjugate basis. Cn1 minus, F minus, NO2, one minus. Now the weaker conjugate base would be this one here. So that's the weakest. So that's the third of these three. Be two. One. Actually, I'll, I'll do it the other way around. Sorry about that. I'm going to make it as in terms of uh, acid strength, make it in terms of base strength. The weakest acid is going to have the strongest conjugate base. So this will be the strongest weak in that way. Okay, so if I were going to put them here in this kind of format, But notice we have a fourth one present that's not here. We have chlorine, Cl minus, in these answers. So if we put Cl minus in here, we know that Cl minus comes from HCl, which is a strong acid. As a strong acid, this base should be negligible. Thus, it is the weakest. So if I had a fourth place, it would be Cl minus. Okay, so if I put them in order here from weakest to greatest, um, Cl minus, F minus, NO2 one minus, and Cn one minus. Okay, so which one reflects that? Looks like it's D. Remember, the alligator, the stronger one there, going this way. Oh, no, the other way. I don't know what day it is today, jeez. All right, okay, <clears throat> moving on. Consider the reaction, we have HOCl plus F minus going to HF plus OCl1 minus. Given that case of A for HOCl is 3.5 times 10 to the negative eighth, and the Ka for HF is 7.2 times 10 to the negative fourth, 
both at 25 degrees Celsius. Which of the following is true concerning KEQ for the above reaction at 25 degrees Celsius? Okay, this isn't really a mathematical question either. This is more about comparing acid-base strength. So in this initial reaction, notice we don't have water in this one, so we're not talking about you know, dissociation um, as much here. But um, we must look at the two... Acids in question, HOCl and HF, and look at their Ka values. So HOCl's Ka value is 3.5 times 10 to the negative eighth, versus HF is 7.2 times 10 to the negative fourth. HF has a larger Ka value. It has, if it has a larger Ka value, it's a stronger acid. It's still a weak acid, but it's the stronger of these two weak acids. Now, you could honestly stop here and analyze it from this dir direction, meaning the stronger acid is going to push the reaction in its favor. Meaning if this acid on the right side is stronger, it's a different color here, it's going to push the reaction this way. Green means go. So it's going to push the reaction that way. You can think of it from that perspective, and you would say if it does that, the reactants are favored. And if your KQ, which is just your K value, is products over reactants, if your reactants are favored due to the green arrow going to the left, that means that these are going to increase. If your reactants increase in the denominator, that means your K value is less than 1. And that's the answer to the problem, B. That's one way to analyze it. However, we didn't analyze it quite like that in class. We analyzed it in terms of the conjugate base. So... HF, the stronger acid, its conjugate base is going to be here. Conjugate base of HF. HOCl, which is here, its conjugate base is going to be here. In the forward direction. So... The conjugate base is really what, by definition, is pushing the reaction either way. Now, if HF is the stronger acid, it has the weaker conjugate base. So this conjugate base is weaker. HOCl, the weaker acid, has a stronger conjugate base. And the stronger conjugate base is going to push this reaction this way. It's going to make itself react. So that further justifies what we said earlier with the stronger acid. If it pushes this way, your reactants are going to increase as a whole, making K less than 1. Okay, last problem. Ephedrine, a central nervous system stimulant, is used in nasal sprays as a decongestant. This compound is a weak organic base. The reaction is there. A 0.035 molar solution of ephedrine has a pH of 11.33. What are the equilibrium concentrations of uh, ephedrine, ephedrine's conjugate acid, and the conjugate base OH-? Calculate case of B for ephedrine. Okay. So we have our um, equation up there already for us. They were nice enough to do that. But we're looking for the concentrations at equilibrium. So we must draw a nice chart.
In this ice chart, we have 0 0.035 molar of our original acid. We don't have any of our uh, initial ones and dissociation equations. That's all we have. And we're looking for all three of these. That's what the question's asking. Now all we have is the pH. But with pH, we know we can get a lot of different things from that. So here's my plan. From pH, I will find pOH. From pOH, I will find hydroxide. And then I have this box here. And with this box, I can use my stoichiometric relationship to find the others. So there is the plan. Let's execute. So if pH equals 11.33, I'll use the relationship between pH and pOH. And that will be 2.67. Okay, there's your pOH. Now I use my pOH to find H+. Plus. We know that pOH equals a negative log Sorry, I use my pOH to find OH minus. pOH is negative log of OH minus. Um, to find the uh, OH minus, remember, we do the inverse of a negative log, which is a base 10. So what I end up getting is P to the negative pOH equals OH minus. Look through your notes to see how to derive that. So 10 to the negative 11.33. That's going to give me zero. Eh, never mind. I'll put it in scientific notation. 2.1 times 10 to the negative third. Okay, I'll put the minus chart. That's one of the answers. That's another answer. And this change is the part where we uh, have to fill in now for the first acid. So that has to be the change on the right side. That must be the change on the right side. Subtract 2.1 times 10 to the negative third. And if we do that, we get 0. Point, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. That's if we round up the appropriate, actually, no, it's not. Appropriate sig figs. Three past the decimal. Okay, so that's the answer to the, the first part. Now, B says calculate case of B for ephedrine. So case of B is going to be your products. reactant it's going to be 2.1 times 10 to the negative third squared over 0 0.033 it's essentially going to be it there and use the unrounded numbers for both of these, please. And then we get, uh, let's see, my notes, 1.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. All right, gentlemen, hope this helps. Adios.